Hi, I'm Lindsay Bolin, creator of Home Art Studio, and I'm here today to talk to you about Raz Brown Temper Paint. What is temper paint? Temper paint used to be called egg tempera because it was mixed by using egg whites and pigment from either crushed insects or crushed wildflowers, and it dates back as far as Egyptian sarcophagi. Nowadays, it's a lot easier to make tempera because we're able to use uh, minerals for the pigment, and the base is often talc or gypsum to give it a really nice, thick body. So let's go ahead and look at the chart and really compare Raz to the leading national brand Crayola. You can see here that our colors are more vibrant and more true to the color names. This is a phthalo turquoise and it is turquoise. If you look at our dioxide purple, it's really rich and a really strong color. Most importantly is what happens when kids paint with it. You can see here that when you paint on the RAS, no matter how thickly you apply it, and we all know that kids will just slap on layer after layer of paint, which is great, they should be experimenting, it's going to dry exactly how it was when you painted it on. Unfortunately, you can see really clearly that with the Crayola, it starts to crack as it dries. And it is such a downer for kids that have put a lot of work into their project, and then it begins to flake and, and fall off. There's a simple explanation why Crayola temper paint cracks as it dries and Raz doesn't. The difference is in the formula. Raz uses more talc, which binds the paint together. Crayola uses less talc and more water. And unfortunately, as the water evaporates, the paint cracks. I really like the fact that Raz has put so much time and effort into creating a temper paint that is resilient and doesn't crack. One reason I'm really a fan of Raz Temper Paints is that it stands for Real Art Supplies. And I think it's so important for children to have high quality art supplies. It really builds their confidence. And one way they do that is by using really professional color names for their products. So rather than just calling it red, it's naphthol red light. And as opposed to just green, we have cobalt green hue. Uh, white is titanium white. They're using the professional terms for these color names. Kids are learning them early on and they're able to speak about their art supplies as well as their art in a more intelligent and professional way. Let's look at how they mix because that's the most important in my opinion as far as how a paint um, should behave. So you can see here um, on the Crayola we've mixed a simple color wheel and when you look at the secondary colors that are made from red and blue, we're supposed to get purple, blue and yellow, we're supposed to get a nice green, but you can see here that this purple, it's not purple. It's muddy, it's um, not mixing very well. You can see the same thing with the green. No matter how much I tried to mix it and stir it, it's streaky and it's just not a vibrant green. The orange did a little bit better, but once again, you can see the cracking all around the edges. Now compare that to the Raz. The Raz is smooth. The colors you get are the true colors. Look at this great green. It's so vibrant, so bright. The purple is a rich purple. If you can mix the true colors, it makes such a difference. And this just blew me away, the comparison between these two. When you're teaching your children that blue and yellow make green, it should make a green. And when you're mixing blue and red to make purple, it should make a purple. Eventually, you can get into warm colors and cool colors, but right now, this is the basics. And this is the foundation they need before they can learn that these things can be stretched a little. And I just feel like Raz does a wonderful job of this. I highly recommend it. I use it with my students, I use it with my children, and I found it to be a superior product. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. How much is this gonna cost? We've already established that Raz is a superior product, but I'm also happy to report that it's selling for up to 32% less than Crayola. And you don't have to be a mom to appreciate that. So try some today and see that it really does improve your children's artwork and their confidence as a budding artist. Brass Temper Paint is absolutely Home Art Studio approved. <laughs>